Let's check your integral, check it with my integral, let's make sure we both did them right. Did you guys get it right as well? Same thing? Same, same? Now we're going to plug in 1 first, we'll plug in 0 next. If I plug in the 1, if I, if I evaluate, I'm going to get 1 7th. I love 1's too, man they're nice. 3 fourths, 1 third, and 3 halves. I'm going to check the 0, but notice how every term is going to go to 0. So I'm going to write at the back end of this, yeah, I did check 0, it's just going to be 0. So far so good? Notice, how, please stop for a second. Notice how if the 0 had come first, it would be 0 minus all this stuff. You follow? Making it all negative. That would be the case for the other part of this, the between negative 1 and 0. You follow? Now, if that went around 3 halves, notice that that volume is going to be huge. Which is why I almost made the mistake of, remember the odd function, how you just double it? That's not the case for volumes. Because you're taking something way lower, way above that 3 halves. It's going to be a much larger volume. You'd have to do a completely different integral for that. Do you get it? So we set up the same, but it'd be a different volume altogether. So, combine all those. Has anyone done 1 7th minus 3 fourths? Yeah, 89 over 84. How much? 89 over 84. I guess something different. 1 7th minus 3 fourths plus, uh, minus 1 third. And then what do I put in here? Make sure I put in plus 1 3 over 2. Okay. And 40 seven, eight, eight, four. Okay, I'm not doing well. Pi times 47 80 fourths is 47 pi over 84. I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest. Your calculus, awesome. you guys know how to set this stuff up. You're plugging numbers in, that's so great, that's so good. Make sure you plug the numbers in right. That, that's the biggest mistake I've seen on tests all the time.